Hi, John from Identive here, and welcome to the Identive channel. Those of you who design, install, or use physical access control solutions in the federal government space are probably aware of the requirement for most federal agencies to comply with the government's FICAM smart card initiatives and to purchase only those items and systems that have been approved by and listed on the GSA approved product list. You probably also know that compliance systems are expensive, hard to deploy, slow to grant access, and require patching various third-party solutions together. Well, today we're going to take a look at the product that changed all that, the Identive Velocity FICAM solution, which is the easiest to deploy, fastest to respond, and most cost-effective FICAM solution on the market. And it comes from the most respected brand name in government physical access control, Hirsch. So what makes a FICAM access control solution different from a conventional access control solution? As you can see in the drawing, a conventional access control system has three basic components. Card readers installed at the doors and wired directly to intelligent controllers installed at secure locations, and software that served as the operator interface. To enhance security, FICAM and its related FIPS 201 technical specifications added the concept of validating digital certificates that were installed on government credentials, something which no access control system at the time could do, but something that we as suppliers would need to figure out if we were to play in the government space. Here was industry's first pass at meeting the requirement. To achieve quick time to market, many vendors simply bolted on third-party hardware and software components to handle the certificate checking process. A hardware board would be installed between the readers and controllers to pull certificates and manage reader communications. That hardware required an enclosure, power, installation, wall space, and frequently rewiring of the entire system. The boards could accommodate up to two readers, but site conditions and wiring runs often meant installing a board for every door. The software was an expensive add-on and was licensed per server and per enrollment client, and introduced a second user registration process that operators had to learn and do for each user, in addition to the normal access enrollment process. You can see how this approach adds complexity for both the installer and the user. It's expensive, was slow to process access events, and with as many as five different component vendors involved, created the opportunity for finger pointing when things went south. Well, as you can see, the Hirsch FICAM solution looks very much like the traditional system architecture shown in a previous slide. The Hirsch Velocity FICAM solution has three basic components. Readers, in this case, FICAM GSA approved readers, installed at the doors that wire directly to controllers installed in secure locations that communicate with software that serves as the operator interface. The certificate checking hardware component is an update to communication cards that sit inside our controllers. And our certificate checking software is a simple add-on to our base velocity access control software. All system elements, readers, controllers, and certificate checking components are Hirsch developed, manufactured, and supported, resulting in lower costs, ease of deployment, and optimal end-to-end -end system performance. Those certificate checking components can easily be added to any Hirsch system that's been installed for 20 some odd years, further reducing system deployment costs and maximizing the installed infrastructure. So let's take a look at the system in action. On the screen are those three system components we discussed during the slideshow. A card reader wired directly to a controller via an RS-45 connection. A Hirsch MX controller that would typically be installed in a central secure location. And the Hirsch Velocity Access Control software with our certificate checking software. As you can see, this architecture looks exactly like any traditional access control system, making it familiar to system installers and to the ultimate users. With no external hardware to install, the Hirsch FICAM solution is the easiest to deploy. And since all components come from Identive, you know they will all work together seamlessly. So let's take a look at each of the components. The card reader is the Identive Utrust Touch Secure Contactless Smart Card Reader. Optimized to read government-issued PIV and CAT cards, our TS readers are on the GSA FICAM approved products list. 
But in FICAM environments, these devices do more than just read cards. They're sophisticated data processes with advanced crypto and communications features, which together provide the PKI at the door process that is at the core of FICAM. When a government-issued card is presented, the reader initiates a challenge and response exchange along with a signature check to validate the card authentication key, or CAKE, protecting against cards that are counterfeit, copied, or cloned. The reader then sends a crypto hash of the CAKE and PIV auth certificates to the controller for validation and for access authorization. Identiview Trust readers are FICAM certified for CAKE validation systems and meet FIPS 201, FIPS 140-2, NIST SP 800-16, and EPACS requirements. They can properly read PIV, PIVI, CIV, CAC, TWIC, DESFIRE, MyFair, and, and even low-frequency proximity cards. The readers are available in single-gang wall mount size with or without a fixed keypad, narrow mullion mount, and Hearst scramble pad versions. The next piece of the FICAM solution is the access control panel itself. These are typically installed in a secure area like a telephone room or an IT closet with wires run out to the readers and locks on the doors the controller manages. Identical controllers can manage up to eight doors, storing the access rules engine and making all access decisions for those doors. Identiv's current MX and our legacy Model 2 and Model 8 controllers can be configured or upgraded to support our FICAM solution. And finally, the Identa Velocity Access Control software serves as the human interface to the system, providing the means to program the system rules engine, enroll users, monitor events and alarms, program manual and automatic device operations, and integrate with other platforms such as video surveillance, communications, and building automation systems. So let's step through the process to enroll a new user into the system. Government-issued PIV and CAT cards have all of the user information we need to process access events stored in the card's chip, and the Velocity software can easily capture that information without requiring a lot of typing by the enroller. The new user would simply insert his card into a desktop smart card reader at the enrollment station, uh, like the reader you see here, which happens to be the most commonly used desktop smart card reader in government applications, and of course is made by Identive. The operator starts the data capture process by clicking on the scan button that you see on the screen. And then the read card button, at which point the card holder will be asked to enter the pin associated with that card as an identity check. Certificates and other data, including the user's photo, is pulled from the card and loaded into that user's record in the Velocity Enrollment Manager. Single step for both credential registration and card enrollment. Finally, the Velocity Certificate Check software validates the certificate with the Certificate Authority, ensuring that the card and person being entered into the system is an actual government card and that the certificates are valid and have not been revoked or altered. So that easily, the card has been enrolled and access privileges have been assigned to that user. Let's see how fast the Velocity FICAM solution can grant access at a door in full compliance with all FICAM requirements. As we present the card, keep your eye on the door LED inside the controller in the split image at the top left. It comes on when the door relay closes after a valid card transaction, which includes validating the digital certificates on that credential and checking against the user's access control privileges. So there you have it, as promised, easy to install, easy to use, and lightning fast. To learn more or start down your path to FICAM compliance, reach out to us at sales.identive.com. We'll be happy to help.